across the last 12 months, I've been obsessed with finding useful AI apps to help me grow this YouTube channel. And there's apps for everything, like taking low quality audio that I'm recording in this phone right now and making it sound like it was recorded in a professional studio. Or AI that can add you into any crazy image that you can think of to make your videos and thumbnails way more interesting. But with so many AI apps for YouTubers releasing all the time, it can be overwhelming knowing which ones to actually use. So as we're just starting the new year, here's the only seven AI apps you need to be using for YouTube right now. So let's get into it. So this first AI app is great for YouTubers like me who make lots of mistakes when they're recording their videos. It can take all of those moments where you accidentally look off screen, say you got distracted or you were looking at your script to remind yourself what to say. It can take those moments and make it look like you are looking at the camera all the time. And even better than that, it can create a complete digital replica of your voice so that if you said the wrong thing while you were recording, you can just type out later what you meant to say and it will fix that mistake. Non-chicken nuggets, non-chicken nuggets. But they're made to emulate the taste of vegan nuggets. The app is called Descripts and it's incredible because YouTubers make a lot of mistakes when they're recording, especially beginner YouTubers who are just starting to learn this new skill. And usually it adds so much time having to go back and re-record the sections where you messed up. So not having to re-record anymore to replace the areas that you made mistakes in is a huge time saver. Descript is a powerful and amazing app. You can check it out. The link is in the description. Right, next, if you want to learn how to get more views on YouTube, you should listen closely to the next AI tool. It's called VidIQ, and this is why it's useful. So I've learned in the seven years I've been on YouTube that there's three things that you really need to get right for a video to be successful. You need to come up with a high quality idea for your video, a well-written title, and also an eye-catching thumbnail and vidIQ will master all three of those things for you. Let me show you how. It gives you a list of high quality ideas for you to use as your next video. The AI has created this list of new video ideas for me to make on my channel based on what I've made in the past. And it's made sure to put the ideas that are likely to get a very high number of views at the top of the list. When I'm uploading a new video and I try it typing in a new title, it generates this list of other title suggestions down here that it believes are better and much more likely to get clicks. And for thumbnails, I can simply upload a new video and the AI will create a set of thumbnail ideas for that video that are likely to get people to click. My channel was hardly getting any views in 2023, but when I started focusing on ideas, titles, and thumbnails in 2024, my channel really took off again. They're really the three most important things for being successful on YouTube. But in reality, most people are bad at creating them and they don't even realize how bad they are. But with vidIQ having 2 million subscribers on their own YouTube channel, their AI coupled with their expertise is a really powerful app for YouTubers. The link is in the description to start using their tool for free. Our next app is going to help you make every video sounds like it was recorded in a professional studio. Important because if your video has bad sounds, people will just stop watching and leave your video. YouTube will see this and decide not to push your video out to any more viewers. So good quality sound is very important. The app is called Adobe Podcast. It's free to use. You're seeing the website for it on screen right now. And to use the sound improvement tool, you just need to scroll down and click on this option here. It's the enhance speech. Then you just drag and drop here, your audio file that you want cleaned up and the AI will fix it automatically. I'll just upload an audio file here that I've recorded myself to show you this speech enhancing AI working. Let's give that a listen now and you'll see me turning the AI on when I flick this switch backwards and forwards. This is a voice recording made on my phone. It sounds okay, but could be better. Also, there's this annoying vacuum cleaner sound in the background. 
pretty amazing. And you can even slide this slider to the left, to the right, to choose how much of the AI effect is added to the original recording. But what if you're already making long videos like an eight hour Twitch live stream or a three hour podcast conversation and you want to start a YouTube channel to upload shorter clips of the best moments from those longer videos? Well, for that, we have the next app, Opus Clip. Opus Clip studies your original long video, automatically finds the best moments from that original recording and creates shorter videos of each of those highlight moments. It makes sure to always focus on who is currently speaking. It automatically adds real-time captions to the videos and you can use it to make normal videos or vertical videos to go on TikTok, YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. Podcasters like Joe Rogan and live streamers like Speed know how useful having shorter clips are in bringing attention to their original longer videos. It used to take a ton of time to create these extra clips. You'd probably have to hire an employee just to do this extra task, but not anymore. With Opus Clip AI, you can just do it all automatically in a single click of a button. The link to Opus Clip free trial is in the description to this video. Okay, next, if you're like me, who doesn't have the patience for removing every single mistake from your video recording, then this next app is for you. It's called Gling, and it automatically does that first pass edit that you'd normally do yourself. So I'm talking about when you're going through and you're looking for all of the moments of silence where nothing is happening, or the times where you make a mistake and you have to re-record what you're saying, Gling automatically removes all of those moments for you. Here's how it works. Gling is a desktop app that cuts your videos and voiceovers for you. Here's how it works. I'm going to upload a video you've just watched to Gling. The app transcribes the video and automatically cuts out all my failed attempts and silences between takes. I love Gling so much. When I'm editing a YouTube video that's going to end up being around 10 minutes long, I usually have an original recording that's around an hour in length. That's including just moments where nothing's happening, and all of those times I made a mistake and I had to re-record what I was saying. And it used to take me between one to two hours just to clean up that hour long file to get it down to 10 minutes in length. And now with Gling, it takes me less than five minutes. So super powerful app. You can check out Gling by following the link in the description to this video. One of my favorite AI apps for YouTubers has to be Firecut. Now this just helps us make more exciting, interesting videos. It automatically adds zooms onto your face like this when you're talking to emphasize like important points, which is really useful because it just adds an energy to your videos and makes them more interesting to watch. It adds chapter screens like you've already seen in this video. I'll put one on screen right now, which just breaks your videos into sections and just makes it easier for your viewer to watch along and follow what is being said. It can automatically add captions onto your videos like you're seeing on screen now in real time as you're talking in a ton of different styles which have been proven to lead to your viewers more actively watching your video. And the most powerful thing I believe it does is automatically add overlay clips onto your video to make them even more interesting to watch. Let me show you how to do that now. So I've got Firecut open here on the left hand side inside Adobe Premiere. It's an extension to Adobe Premiere. If I scroll through the timeline, I've got a 30 minute podcast episode that I want to add additional video clips onto to just make it more interesting. So we're going to come into Firecut to do that. You'll see some of the features I've already mentioned here, like adding zooms, adding chapters, adding captions. But to add video footage on top of our original videos to make it more interesting, we need this button here, Find B-Roll. So we'll just press that. And now we just wait and the AI app will go through our whole original video, analyze it to understand what is being talked about in that video, and then automatically add video clips on top of that original video at hand-picked moments to enhance what is happening at any of those specific moments. I use Firecut to add those extra finishing touches whenever I'm making a video just to take them to that next level and oh my god this saves me so much time than when i used to have to do it manually before it's super important to separate yourself from the competition if you want to do well on youtube by adding these little extra pieces of quality that firecut lets you do 
check out Firecut, links in the description. The next AI app I think is the funnest to play with. It's called Leonardo AI, and it lets you create images of yourself in any situation you can imagine like you're seeing on screen now which you can use in your thumbnails or you can even use them in your videos to keep your videos interesting as mentioned earlier thumbnails are such an important factor into whether your youtube video does well so leonardo ai is super valuable to us there's a full tutorial that i've made before right here you can watch next by clicking it that runs you through how to put your own face into those crazy images Give that a watch next. I hope you crush YouTube in the next 12 months. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for the next video like this. I'll see you soon. Bye.